Join me. 
worship and to adore you because there is no one else like you. You are called alone. You are called all by yourself. You are called. You reign on high. Creator of heaven and earth. Maker of the universe. You are the keeper of life. Father, we worship you because of who you are.
Bwana asifiwe. Sukaribisha aliye karibu na we katika kipindi cha kumsifu Bwana. Jurie hali, karibisha katika rancha wa siku ya leo. Tunapenda kumsifu Bwana. Makofi kwa Bwana Yesu.
ndiwe Mungu mkuu Bingu zime jana tukufu wako Shangri-La, 
Thank you worship team. God bless you. We can take our seats. Niongezewe sauti kwa monitor kidogo. Ah uh, na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu amjambo. Nifungie mkono wale wako hapa kwa social media, kwa TV kila mahali. Haleluya. Amen. Na wakaribisha kwenye lancha wa yetu ya siku ya leo. Na tunashukuru kwa mahali ambapo tumefika. Bishop Mwando alituongoza vizuri asubuhi. Uh, how we can be able to um, that we can be able to receive God's mercy if we accept God's verdict for our lives. Bwana asifiwe sana. So nashukuru na wakaribisha wachungaji wote. Karibu 11 Sami wachungaji wote na kila mmoja wenu ambaye ameweza kuja in person worship. Bado tunaendelea kumwambia Mungu ni asanti kwa mkutano tuliokuwa nao kasalani kwa maombi tumekuwa tukiendelea nao last week uh, we got an opportunity um, uh, some of our team members in the national prayer committee to be hosted in some of the media stations uh, tulipokuwa tunafanya uh, matangazo hayo ya maombi and um, there was a testimony that uh, from two media station who has been going on the ground kila mahali katika taifa hili that our nation is very calm you cannot imagine that we are very close to an election yani kuna utulivu mwingi hata uwezi kufikiria uchaguzi umekaribia si haya ndio matendo ya ukuu wa Mungu we give him all the glory our god reigneth let the earth trembo bwana apewe sifa na tunaamini ya kwamba Mungu ataendelea kutuonyesha wema wake na huruma zake hata siku ya uchaguzi kuna mpango tuko nao kwa sababu hatufai tu kutazama tunafaa kujiuliza IBC wanapofanya kazi siku ya Tuesday na National Police Service saa hizi hata wanajiandaa siku hiyo ya Tuesday na sisi kweli kama kanisa tutakaa tu hivyo. Praise the name of the living God. Tutafanya nini? Kuna mambo mawili tunaweza kufanya. Number one, tunapaswa kwenda kupiga kura. Number two, tunafaa kusimama katika pengo kwa maombi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo we are put up a program ya 24 hours of worship and declarations kuanzia kuanzia Monday midnight mpaka Tuesday midnight Bwana apewe sifa Kwa sababu pia kulingana na katiba yetu Monday midnight ndio hizi elective positions zinakuwa vacant na kuanzia hiyo midnight ya mande mpaka Tuesday asubuhi uchaguzi unafanywa. By the time tufike Tuesday hiyo midnight uchaguzi utakuwa umekwisha na watu wengine tayari watakuwa wametangazwa washindi hizi viti za MCA MP. So that day is a very important day for our nation for the next five years. Praise the name of the living God. So we are we are launching what we'll be calling uh, standing in the gate of elections hayo marango ya uchaguzi ya hayo masaa 24 tutakuwa throughout worship 3 hours watches ni nane hizo ziko na 3 hours so tutakuwa na worship team maybe 2 hours then muhubiri anasimama 1 hour anatusomea scriptures za kufanya declarations declarations praise the name of the living god na kwa hivyo mande mande dio worship team wasimame saa sita. i think itasimama kuanzia saa tano. ili niweze kuasha the day and the gate of election tuweze kuishika because tusipofanya hivyo naamini kwamba kuna wengine watakuwa katika madhabahu yao wanajaribu kuelekeza uchaguzi lakini kama siku ya Elijah katika mlima Kameli tutangitangaza ya kwamba manabii wa bali hata wakijikatakata watoe damu miungu ya bali haitawajibu hapa Kenya lakini Jehova pekee yake 
Mungu ajibuye na moto ni atakuwa anajibu watu wake na kutupatia viongozi ambao amekusudia katika jina la Yesu. Watu wengine watakuwa naenda kwa hiyo uh, 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 baro uh, 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 box ya kuweza kufanya uchaguzi ile mambo yote wamesikia wanasahau wanajazwa na mapenzi ya Mungu na wanachaguana sawa sawa na mapenzi ya Mungu somebody declare our god reigneth let the earth tremble in jesus name so you can decide to be um usiku wa monday then asubuhi saa 12 utakuwa wa kwanza kwenda kuchaguana you can go with your prophetic vote praise the name of the living god hallelujah kama vile ni itakavyoenda na yangu unajua tulisema katika national prayer committee we are not partisan hatuhusiki katika siasa lakini hiyo sio kumaanisha hatujui mapenzi ya Mungu tunajua lakini unajua prophecy sio kitu ati Mungu akikwambia utakuwa mhubiri mkubwa utaenda mataifa ut, ut, yani hauwezi anza kusema mimi nitafanya hivi prophecy is a call to prayer you must support your prophecy to become a reality and that is what we have been doing first timothy chapter 1 and verse 18 paul akamwambia timotheo the prophecies made concerning you is so that by them you may be able to wage the good warfare ni jambo moja mungu kunena na ni jambo lingine unabii kutimia mungu anaweza nena kama wakati wa jehoshaphat lakini mesha aende ya sacrifice mtoto wake na ageuze unabii wa kweli so wakati wote kuna unabii ni wakati wa kusimama na kujitoa ili unabii na kusudi la Mungu likaweze kusimama praise the name of the living god so siku ya tuesday tutakuwa tunakukubalia kuingia kwa ile mlango baada ya kuona kidole chako kiko na rangi praise the name of the living god tunakwambia sasa ingia endelea na maombezi kama haujachaguana tunakwambia kwenda kwanza you cast you are prophetic vota in the name of Jesus baada ya kukast your prophetic vota we arrest the realm of the spirit as we determine the divine destiny of our nation in the name of Jesus praise the name of the living God hallelujah kuna pepo hatutazitolea tu hapa kwa madhabahu tutaenda kuzitoa na kura kwanza praise the name of the living god alafu tukuje tuzitolee hapa kwa hivyo ambia jirani prepare your id praise the name of the living god hallelujah so we'll be having 24 hours of worship and declaration as we stand and watch over the gate of election from monday midnight to tuesday midnight praise the name of the living god and we are going to make declaration as the watchers praise the name of the living god who has who have been watching over the nation kumbuka hata jehoshaphat baada ya kuomba siku tatu siku ya vita mungu alimwambia weka waimbaji bere waende wakitangaza what was the song tunamshukuru mungu kwa sababu fadhili zake ni za ni za milele. So siku hiyo na sisi tutaweka worship team mbele ili Mungu naye atangulie katika vita. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. As we declare his mercies endures forever. Praise the name of the living God. We thank God for the opportunity that we can participate in this election both physically and spiritually. Praise the name of the living God and it is a spiritual that determines uh, the physical. So we encourage that each one of us should prepare to take at least 3 hours to watch apart from those who may be traveling to cast their vote, vote in other counties or other regions kwa sababu pengine kuna watu kura yako ni ya mwanga na unataka kwenda kuchagua MC wa kwenu nyumbani tunakuachilia lakini hata ukienda huko tutakuwa live So utakuwa una connect live na unaendelea kufanya nini kuomba mahali utakapokuwa sio ni mzuri 
Glory to God. Let's give Jesus a clap offering our praise. Father, we give you the praise. Thank you because you are in control of our nation. You are in control of the forthcoming erection. We continue to magnify your name. We continue to enthrone you over the nation of Kenya, over every county. In the name of Jesus, may your masses, O God, be released upon the IEBC. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, upon the National Police Service, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, upon the Electorate, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, for your masses uh, endures uh, forever, even of our nation. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So let me share with you briefly on how to receive God's mercy. Yesterday I was sh sharing on understanding God's mercy. Now to Kaona, even from the natural, that the president is given uh, the power of mercy in Article 133. Now to Kaona, 1st June, aliachiria 3,900 inmates. Watu walio kuwa mehukumiwa na vifungo tofauti tofauti. Lakini aka exercise the power of mercy. Na tukasema, according to Isaiah 33 and verse 22, our God is a judge. Praise the name of the living God. He is a lawgiver. He is also the king. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And these are the three arms of the government. Bwana poe sifa. Na bisho mwana wakatusaidia ni yakwamba, when God gives a verdict as a judge, the best you can do, accept the verdict, then you petition him for mercy. Like David did, wakati aliambiwa achagwe, na nabi ambaye alikuwa na itwa God, Daudi alichagua. Lakini akasema mimi nataka kuanguka mikononi mwa Mungu because he is great in mercy. Na wakati judgment ilipoanza, aka petition Mungu na Mungu akawa mwenye huruma akasimamisha ile tauni. Bwana asifuwe sana. So Mungu, our God is sovereign. Na yeye anaweza kudecide ni nani atakaye muhurumia praise the name of the living god anahurumia mtu anasema huyu nitamhurumia kwa njia hii huyu nitamhurumia kwa njia hii lakini pia katika biblia mungu ametuonyesha ways that we can be able to access his mercy so that the mercies of god are not only determined by the sovereignty of God, but also there are ways that you can be able to access and connect with God's mercy. Praise the name of the living God. Wacha nionge ejiya tatu kwa sababu ya wakati wetu kwa haraka. Number one uh, uh, way of accessing God's mercy is through deep and true repentance. Deep and true repentance. Wakati unapo enda bere za mungu, na unatoa toba ya kweli. Deep and genuine. Unamuambia mungu, ninakubali ndiyo, nimekukosea. Kama video tuliona in the book of Daniel chapter 9. Daniel nasema, yes, mungu tumekukosea, tumekuwasi, mimi. Na nyumba ya baba yangu. Praise the name of the living God. That deep and genuine repentance huwa inakufanya unaaccessa God's mercy. And that is why when we look at the example of Nineveh in uh, Jonah chapter 3. If we can read the book of Jonah chapter 3, maybe from verse 6, uh, tutaona ya kwamba wakati mfanme wa Nineveh alipofikiwa na habari Praise the name of the living God. When the news uh, reached uh, the king of Nineveh, he lost from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. Then he issued a proclamation in Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let any man or beast, herd or frog taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink. It was a dry fasting even for animals. Then he issued a proclamation in Nineveh. Um, let's continue. Verse 8. But let man and beast be covered with sacroth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. 
please, twende ara kwa haraka. Who knows? God may yet relent and with compassion. Compassion is a fruit of mercy. And with compassion, turn from his fierce anger so that we will not perish. When God saw what they did and how, look at that, and how they turned from their evil ways, he had compassion and did not bring upon them the destruction he had threatened. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says, when God saw what they did and how they did it, the posture, the seriousness, the commitment, the depth. So it was not just repenting. It is how they repented. Najua kuna mtu anafanya dhambi na anatubu akikura bigiji. Baba ninakuomba unisamehe. Na ni bigiji tu unakura. Praise the name of the living God. Bibi inasema mfalme wa Nineve alitoa mavazi ya kifalme akavaa magunia na nguo za majivu. Akasema mpaka wanyama wasikule na wasikunywe kwa siku tatu. Look at that seriousness. When you read the book of 1 Kings chapter 1, chapter 21. 1 Kings chapter 21 from verse 17. Utaona 1 Kings chapter 21 verse 17 inaongea juu ya a king Ahab. The word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. Go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He is now at Naboth's vineyard, where he has gone to take possession of it. Say to him, this is what the Lord says, have you not murdered a man and seized his property? Then say to him, this is what the Lord says, in the place where a dog licked up Naboth's blood, dogs will lick up your blood. Yes, yours. Ahab said to Elijah, Oh, so you have found me, my enemy. I have found you, he answered, because you have sold yourself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord. I am going to bring disaster on you. I will consume your descendants and cut off from Ab every last male in Israel, slave or free. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and that of Baasha, son of Ahijah, because you have provoked me to anger and have caused Israel to sin. Also concerning Jezebel, the Lord says, dogs will devour Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Dogs will eat her, those are belonging to Ahab who die in the city and the birds of the air will feed on those who die in the country. There was never a man, look at this, huh? like Ahab who sold himself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord, urged on by Jezebel, his wife. He behaved in the virus manner by going after idols like the Amorites the Lord drove out before Israel. When Ahab, look at this, when Ahab had these words, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, and fasted. He lay in sackcloth and went away around Mikri. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, the Tishbite. Have you noticed how Ahab humbled himself before me? Because he has humbled himself, I will not bring this disaster in his day, but I will bring it on his house in the days of his son. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mimi huwa ninasema ya kwamba, ata watu wale wa meanguka, hakuna mtu mungu hawezi kulejesha. Kile huwa kinazuiria watu wanarejeshwa ni kibuli. Na kukosa kunyenyekea bere za mungu. We have lost so many people who sinned. But the cause of their failure and rejection was not because God is not able to forgive. They could have accessed God's mercy. Tunasomanga jiwa watu kama Catherine Kurman ambao walirudi nyuma amechukua mwanaume ameachana na kuhubiri 
lakini bado Catherine Kurman aliweza kurejeshwa na akatumiwa na miujiza zaidi hakuna mtu hawezi kurejeshwa there is a way you can access god's mercy Bibi sema hakuna mtu alikuwa amejipatiana na unaona hii prophecy ilikuwa inahusu nani Ahab na nani na mke wake Jezebel na upande wa Jezebel ilitimia exactly vile Elijah alisema kwa sababu gani Jezebel hakutubu Jezebel haku access God's mercy lakini Ahab Elijah akaambiwa enda umwambie Elijah hiyo mambo nimemaliza lakini mke wake Jezebel kwa sababu bado amekausha moyo wake hivyo nimesema juu ya damu yake itarambwa na mbwa ilifanyika hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha unabii wa Elijah ulikuwa wa kweli kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha hata unapoletewa unabii wa kweli unapohusu hata vile Mungu amekasirika na wewe ama jamii yako ama taifa bado tuko na uwezo kama watu wa Nineve kugeuza praise the name of the living God useme these are prophets of doom hapana pokea huo unabii lakini ujue ya kwamba there is the power of mercy that belongs to our God and he can be able to withdraw judgment when we access his mercy praise the name of the living God haleluya wapendwa i wish watu wangekuwa na mioyo ya kutubu na kumrudia Mungu na kutubu hakumaanishi ya kwamba ni umwambie Mungu nimetubu na unaendelea inamaanisha unageuka unawacha hiyo njia na unawacha yale ulikuwa unafanya na unamwambia Mungu nihurumie naye Mungu anakuhurumia na anakupatia hata nguvu ya kuvunja kile kifungo cha uovu kilichokuwa jua juu ya maisha yako especially when you go uh, uh, before god in repentance and fasting bibi nasema saumu ambayo mungu ameichagua ni kufunga vifungo vya uovu because nimesikia the story ya kwamba apostle ninatubu na bado ninakuta ninarudia yale mambo praise the name of the living god you also need to give yourself to god that through god's mercy he is going also to transform you to change you because sometimes you don't just need forgiveness you need transformation you need to be changed you need to be set free from the slavery from the bondage of sin otherwise the same sin will continue controlling and manipulating your own destiny and you are going to live a circle of repenting and sinning repenting and sinning repenting and sinning so even as you access god's mercy you need to access the mercies of god to transform your life to change your life and this mean it is that that is why repentance is not just going before the Lord and telling oh God I I repent my sin forgive me it is that time that you go before the Lord access that also releases the power to change you and to break the chains of slavery from every bondage of sin in your life praise the name of the living God so we can access God's mercy through genuine sincere and deep repentance number two, we can also access god's mercy through showing mercy the bible says uh, in the book of matthew chapter 5 and verse 7 that a blessed matthew 5 um, and verse 7 blessed are the merciful for they will be shown what they will be shown mercy When you are a merciful the bible says uh, that god uh, will show you mercy there is a way you can be able to show mercy huh? the bible says in the book of um, uh, james chapter 2 and verse 13 james chapter 2 and verse 13 the bible says because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful The reason you can face judgment without being shown mercy it is because uh, you have not uh, been merciful. So it is very important 
for you to be able to sow the seed of mercy to other people. And one of the ways you can be able to sow the seed of mercy to other people is to forgive them. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 18 uh, from verse uh, 21, uh, this is a parable of the unmerciful servant. And Jesus was trying to teach her because Peter asked a question. And Peter asked and said, uh, then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive uh, my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but seventy Seven times. Some version says uh, 70 times. Times 70. But Jesus continued to say, therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And he began to the settlement. A man who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. Um, let me uh, take that uh, verse 24 in New Living Transition. The living translation shows us how much uh, was or an estimated amount. In the process, uh, one of his debtors was brought in who owed him millions of dollars. Then verse 25, uh, he couldn't pay. So his master ordered that he be sold along with his wife, his children, and everything he owned uh, to pay the debt. But the man fell down before his master and begged him, please be patient with me and I'll pay it all. Then his master was filled with pity for him and he released him and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few, a few thousand of dollars. He grabbed him by the throat and demanded instant payment. At a see occasion, Leo. His fellow servant fell down before him and begged for a little more time. Be patient with me and I'll pay it, he pleaded. But his creditor wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debtor could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. The king called in the man he had forgiven and said, you evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt that you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have, shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be tortured until he had paid his entire debt. That's what my heavenly father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Praise the name of the living God. Sorry for reading uh, long passages of scripture. But you know in this forum, especially because of the church without walls, one of the things God put in my heart is because uh, the church without walls, we deal with so many people from different denominational backgrounds. And the only way you can help them is to take them to the word of God. Because what we do here, especially in our teaching, is not to tell you about our church. We tell you about the word of God. Praise and, and this fits everyone, no matter your denominational background. So when you see us reading so many scriptures, um, it is an instruction. It is an instruction that take people back to the scriptures. Praise the name of the living God. Because scriptures can be able to speak uh, for themselves without any manipulation. So we see here, this is an example by Jesus himself. And he is saying, you have been shown mercy. Why can't you also be able to show mercy? And if you are not able to show mercy, you'll be tortured without uh, mercy. Banas if we sana. So what we are in the bank, what we are in bitterness, na unforgiveness, unaweza kuwa unateseka na unaita mungu, na mungu anakosa kuingiria katika hali yako. Unauliza mungu, kwa nini ya wezi kunyanyesha huruma, na vile ni nateseka? Because tuliona masi, ni njia moja ya kuareviate the pain and the suffering of his people. When people are suffering, 
God is able to alleviate their pain and their suffering by showing them mercy. But sometimes God can say, I will not have mercy upon you. Because you have also withdrawn mercy from other people. So one way of accessing or another way of accessing God's mercy is by being merciful. Forgiving others and forgiving them from your heart. Because sometimes we say, I have forgiven, but you find you are still speaking words. Because out of the abundance of the heart, uh, the mouth speak. Words uh, that express uh, you are still uh, living in bitterness and unforgiveness. Praise the name of the living God. Do you want to receive God's mercy? Show other people mercy. And uh, it does not end up by forgiving. What Matthew 5, 7 is saying, that those who show other people mercy, uh, they will be shown mercy. The name of the living God. Um, I don't have time to lead um, another parable um, that also Jesus gave. Yaule, the servant, ambaye aliwe, ali, kulikuwa na deni na alikuwa futwe kazi na katumia ile deni kusamehea watu wengine. Na Yesu wakasema, tumia mali hii ya udhalimu ili upate watu watakao kukaribisha katika ufalme wa mungu. Hii ni kumanisha ata mali ya dunia unaweza kuitumia na ikafanya mungu akakuhurumia. The way you dispense wildre mammon, wildre wealth. Because watu wale unaguza maisha yao kilio chao cha machozi ya furaha kinaweza kufanya Mungu akakuhurumia Bwana asifiwe sana Haleluya So ni vizuri hata mtu akiwa na deni yako ya pesa na unaona vile anangangana kulipa na Mungu amekubariki kwa jia moja ama ile ingine wakati mwingine samehea ile deni muachilie mwambie na sio kwa ubaya mwambie my sister, my brother, nimekusamehe hiyo deni. Na sisemi wale muko na madeni, mutumie hii message. Kuambia watu wengine, kwani hau kwa kwa aposto wa kihubili, bado unaendelea kunidai. Apana. Masi hayo nyeshi by force. Ati unasukumia mutu sasa diyo akusamehe deni. Apana. Praise the name of the living God. Razima niye mwenyewe atakaya ya mua. Because watu wengine huwa muna kataa kulipa madeni. Muna kuwa too arrogant. Ha, munazoea kukopa na kulipa ni matanga. Praise the name of the living God. But they are genuine people. They borrowed genuinely and they did not make end meet. You can intervene for them. Praise the name of the living God. And showing people mercy. You can go and show people mercy. Thank God for people who go to children's home. Thank God for people who adopt children and they support them. You can show other people mercy. The Bible says, who, he who gives to the poor is rending to God. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, if you cross your ears to the cry of the poor, you will also cry, and God will not hear you. Praise. Can you give us that scripture? So, unapofunga masikio yako kwa kilio cha watu walio na shida, na wewe utalia na kilio chako hakita sikizwa. Jina abwana lipewe sifa. Kwa sababu mungu anataka na wewe upande huruma. Na wewe utavuna kuhurumiwa na mungu. Na pengine wewe utavuna huruma za mungu hata kwa njia kubwa zaidi. Utasamewa deni kubwa zaidi. Ha, Proverbs 21.13 If a man shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, he too will cry out and not be answered. We know one conditions of receiving God's mercy, as I'll share later, is brokenness. But you see here, somebody is crying out. Somebody is already broken. But God is not answering. Maybe they cross their ears to somebody who was suffering. Praise the name of the living God. Bibi Nesema Yakwamba, do not withhold good if it is in your power to do it. Wakati ukona uwezo wakutenda mema. 
usizuilie kutenda huo wema kwa sababu unapotenda wema wema huo utakurudia nataka nikwambie kama dunia hii watu wangekuwa masifu ingekuwa a better place to live in kuna watu wako na shida siku ya leo na hawange kuwa na shida i remember one time uh, uh, through apostle kimani foundation we build a house for a lady and i remember when i went to hand over that house the way that woman cried it touched my heart because alikuwa anasema mahali umeniingiza singewahi fikiria katika maisha yangu nitaishi kwa nyumba kama hii kilio kile huyo mama alilia kiliguza moyo wangu na inaamini kilio kama kile huwa kinaguza moyo wa Mungu wakati una alleviate shida ya watu wengine dunia hii tuko na watu wako na pesa mingi hata Kenya hii tuko na watu wengi na diposa na wao watakuwa na magonjwa na shida watapelekwa uraya matibabu watalia na Mungu hata wasikiza kwa sababu na wao wanafunga masikio yao bibi inasema ya kwamba mali ikiongezeka waraji wanaongezeka Mungu angetaka akupatie mali lakini pia angetaka na wewe watu wengine walio na shida kidogo kidogo unawa sort out Sio lazima kila sisi wote tupange laini kwa Mungu. Mtu wa mbili, mtu wa tano, mtu wa elfu kumi, mtu wa elfu mia moja, mtu wa milioni moja, milioni mia moja, bilioni moja. Sisi wote tuwe kwa laini moja. It is unfair. Ukiwa kwa laini unataka bilioni na yule mtu wako mbele pale anataka mia mbili ya chakula. Watu kama hao waondoe kwa laini wapatie mia mbili, wapatie mia tano, wapatie unga wanunulie chakula wapatie vocha waondoe kwa raini utafikiwa haraka he blessed are those who show mercy because they will receive mercy praise the name of the living god so The, the 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 principle of sowing and leaping in the word of god it does not involve uh, the giving a seed in a sunday service there are so many seeds that you can sow and one of the seed that you can sow is a seed of mercy praise the name of the living god ni vizuri wapendwa kuguzwa na kilio cha watu walio na shida na semi hivyo tufanye mambo bila discernment praise the name of the living god kuna watu wako katika shida na ni Mungu anawatayarisha na Mungu wako na kusudi na maisha yao praise the name of the living god i led kitabu cha shepherd staff and a portion that was written by laf mahone alikuwa anasema wakati mmoja alikuwa chini ya mti akaona butterfly imeanguka ikiwa hiyo stage yako kuno na ilikuwa ina struggle kutoka na akaona vile ina struggle aka cut that shell with a sharp blade ikaanza kwenda wakati ilitokea kwa kivuli mahali kulikuwa na severe heat ya sun ilichomwa ikakufa Mungu akamwambia so many servants have been destroyed because when they were struggling to come that part that was struggling was not mature so when you help them to come out they will be exposed to things that are going to destroy them and God told him there are so many of my servants who have been destroyed so some people sometimes people struggle in life huh? there is some pain that we go through in life and that pain is important for us to become what God wants us to be Not every pain that we go through is destructive. Not every pain uh, that we go through in life uh, is meant for evil. Not every pain uh, that we go through in life uh, is supposed to uh, drive you out uh, to go and seeking for help from everyone. I give a testimony When God called me into the ministry and I was not having uh, somewhere good to live uh, and I was living in a kiosk with some street children. 
Yeah? And there are people, uh, including my wife that time, we were not married. They came and they said, uh, we need to get you a house and get you out of this messy place. It was a good idea. But when I prayed to God, God told me, your time to get out of this place is not yet. They are sympathizing with you. Praise the name of the living God. Because kuna mahali mungu anataka ukae. Let me combine this now with the third way of uh, accessing mercy is um, through brokenness. Brokenness. The Bible says in the book of Psalms uh, uh, 51 uh, and verse 17. Uh, Psalms 51 verse 17. The Bible says uh, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. Praise the name of the living God. Watch and say me hivi. Mwanadamu ni very arrogant. Naturally, we are very arrogant and very proud. Ya kwamba, diyo mungu afike mahali pa kutuleta, tujue ya kwamba hatuwezi bida yeye. And you see, this is one of the prerequisites of being used by God. And that is why there are people who are called. Uh, but there is a way that God cannot be able to use them because there is no total surrender in their lives. There is no that acknowledgement that Lord, without you, I can do nothing. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. But you see, even us who are called, there is an arrogance and pride of feeling that there are things that I can do without God. I don't need help. So, ndiyo mungu atufikishe mahali ambapo anaweza fanya kazi na sisi through his mercy. When the Bible says, uh, Jabez cried unto the Lord. For him to come to that place of brokenness, it is after suffering. And that is why I'm saying uh, there is that suffering that God allows sometimes in our lives uh, to bring us to a place of brokenness and surrender and humility by understanding that without God, uh, we can never amount to anything greater and we are so limited in our foreign nature unless God comes through for us and gives us divine enablement. Bwana Pesifa. So what wengi hawawezi kupokea msaada. Wakati mwingine huwa ninasema Ni vizuri kukutana watu wale wanauza mahindi. Pengine anakuzia hamsini ya masabini. Ukimpatia, hata usimulize chenji ya shiringi dharadhini. Because hauzi, apate utaji, musaidi. Lakini siyo kama umesha kukutana hao, hao watu wanauza vitu. Pengine mungu wa mekuta, pengine uko na gari, uko kwa petrol station, alikuwa nakuzia vitu. Arafu memuambia pana, sita nunua. The minute utakata, the kind of arrogance ata kuzungumuzia nae. Praise the name of the living God. The kind of arrogance maneno yale ataachilia. Paka utatoka hapo ukijiuliza. Sasa huyu na viri ya kona shida. Anaweza saidika na mnagani. So bado mungu wakona watu walio katika shida lakini the kind of arrogance and pride iko ndani yao hata Mungu anasema endelea kuteseka paka wakati utajua hauwezi haya maisha bila msaada wangu so there are people even in their misery even in their suffering they cannot access God's mercy that is why you see in the book of Revelation, the Bible says uh, times uh, that people will suffer and instead of repenting, they will be insulting God. Badaya kunyenyekea, waone mateso yao, waone judgment imewachiriwa, 
waanze kutubu na kunyenyekea wengine hata wakati huo hawatatubu hawatanyenyekea watatusi Mungu that is the heart of man kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha pasipo kujiombea moyo wako moyo wako ufike mahali na ndio Biblia inasema there is a sacrifice that God cannot despise the bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 13 If we can read very quickly Matthew chapter 9 and verse 13 these are the words of our Lord Jesus but go and learn this what this means I desire mercy not sacrifice for I have not come to call the righteous but sinners praise the name of the living God do you know what what Jesus is saying here huh? there are people who have uh, who had that self righteousness they felt that Jesus we don't need you we already have our religion We are the law. We are the prophets. We don't need you. Praise the name of the living God. But Jesus said I desire mercy. Praise the name of the living God. And no sacrifice. Wapendwa, ni vizuri kufika mahali pa kujia kwamba you desire God's mercy. No matter your sacrifice. No wonder muimbaji wa wimbo akasema. Ah uh, mawera makwa mothe matigeni na we here Kiswahili inasema kazi zangu zote haziwezi kumaliza nini dhambi zangu yani kumaanisha ya kwamba you cannot just qualify before god by the things that you do you just need to tell god that is why the bible says uh, after we have done everything We go before God and tell God, I'm just an unworthy servant. Siwezi kuja na kiburi ya kwamba nimeomba, ya kwamba nimetoa, ya kwamba nimefanya hivi kwa sababu sio kwa maana mambo hayo yote. Siwezi fikia kiwango chako because Mungu anatumia masi kutuinua tufikie kimo cha Yesu Kristo. Lakini hatuwezi kuinuliwa tufike hicho kiwango wakati there is self righteousness. Ya kusikia tuko na dini na tunatimiza maadili ya dini zetu. Lazima tufike mahali pa kusikia kwamba even after doing all these things I desire mercy. Mercy Lord. And when you continue to seek for God's mercy, God will use the power of mercy to continue changing you and transforming you to the full stature of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lakini ukifika mahali uanze kujijaza na mambo yale unafanya na kujisikia na wewe ni nani? Wengine tunajisikia kwa sababu ya mataito yale tuko nayo and we miss the masses of God to continue changing us. And Paul is saying not that I have been made perfect, but one thing I do I press on Praise the name of the living God. May God have mercy upon us. Let me tell you, as much as God is merciful, there are people who cannot accept mercy. They cannot kneel down. They cannot bow before God. They cannot lie down on the floor and tell God in that bedroom. Unakuta mtu bado anapitia shida juu ya shida. But the kind of arrogance and pride and hard heartedness you wonder how can god come through for such a person who is not even trying to humble who is not going before god with brokenness praise the name of the living god hallelujah sijui kama wengine mimi nimeshai kufanya hospital ministry and you find people who are suffering they are at the point of death You are telling them to repent they need Jesus. Wewe kauka hivi. Ukimwambia mambo hataki hataki mambo ya Mungu. Enda na huyo Mungu wako kama ni kukufa na kaa ngumu. Kitaka kuniwa niwe. Yaani unakuta that kind of heart cannot access God's mercy. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. May God give you a heart. May God give me a heart. Sometimes God takes us through pain. 
that can be able to cause us uh, to receive that kind of brokenness uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, sometimes God arouses situations in our lives uh, to bring us to a praise uh, where we can be able to access God's mercy because uh, God has a desire to change your life, uh, to bless your life, uh, but it is through the masses of God, uh, but he must bring you to a place uh, where you can be able to access uh, his mercy, where you can go on your knees uh, and tell God, uh, I repent Painter in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, if God forgive Ahab, oh, there is no one who cannot be forgiven. If judgment was averted and, and, and withdrawn in the life of Ahab, there is no one who cannot be able to receive God's mercy. If Ahab received God's mercy, if it was only 40 days and Nineveh would be no more, but God repented of what he wanted to do to Nineveh because when he saw how how they repented he saw how they humbled themselves from the king to the animals when he saw how they humbled themselves before God God said I withdraw my judgment and I release mercy oh may you access God's mercy through deep repentance May you access God's mercy. May you take an opportunity that every month you can show somebody mercy in the mighty name of Jesus by forgiving them, by supporting somebody who is so desperate and is so needy. Some of us, we are looking for millions of shillings, whereas there is somebody who is seeking for 5,000, 10,000, and we can afford it. May you locate someone whom you can show mercy. May God lead you to those people in the mighty name of Jesus, that you can leap mercy like Cornelius. God sent an angel, and he said, Cornelius, your prayers, the way you have been humbling before God, and the gifts you have been giving to the poor, the way you have touched the needy, the way you have shown the mercy, now you have been remembered. You and your house, you are going to be shown mercy. As much as you are a Gentile, salvation has come into your house. Praise the name of the living God. May God show you mercy. Through humility, when Zacchaeus climbed on a tree, he was a tax collector. I believe Zacchaeus in our today's economy was a millionaire. Or a billionaire. He was a rich man. But when Jesus came and he saw how Zacchaeus is humbling himself to climb on a tree just to see Jesus, Jesus looked at him and he said, Today salvation has come to your house. And when they went to the house of Zacchaeus, there was conviction enough in the heart of Zacchaeus to go and bring what he had taken away even from the poor. And he said, I'm going to repay them four times. Praise the name of the living God. May our generation find mercy. Sometimes I look at our generation, uh, you know, sometimes even blessings to some level, they come with arrogance. Blessings come with pride. When you go to part of uh, the developed world, I know there are people who are watching from Europe, from America, and from other parts. Uh, these are places that, you know, uh, uh, one time I, I shared a dream with you. I was coming from America to preach. Uh, and uh, my heart was so troubled. When I saw people, they are not responsive to God. And I was saying, why should I be going there to preach? And we were coming through Dubai. And when I slept, we slept in the morning. God showed me a dream where people were repenting for three days, day and night. And they were saying, God have mercy. God have mercy. I woke up, I was traumatized by that dream. And God said, unless they cry for mercy, judgment will come. There are people who have, ha, ha, they are hard-hearted because of wealth. Huh? And they cannot turn away to, they cannot turn back to God to receive mercy. So judgment will come. As much as mercy triumphs over judgment, they cannot be able to access God's mercy because of the condition of their heart. Kwa sababu wakati mwingine utajiri, masomo, maisha mazuri, yanaweza kufanya mioyo yetu inakuwa migumu. Hatuwezi kumgeukia Mungu paka ghadhabu yake itugonge. 
pendwa usingojie mpaka ufike pale unaweza kunyenyekea na ukamwambia Mungu mimi na nyumba yangu tunahitaji huruma zako can you open your mouth wherever you are and tell God i need your mercy in my life without you lord without you lord i can do nothing 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 roba shanda reka baganda mwimbaji wa kikuyu akaimba nie negwenda gayo menyange nenge nanga monone we tondo neonje kaga wega da ingo shiove ilio shiakwa iliandeaga mai male anyuaga onanguo shiakwe humba shiove nowe oheaga moyo naguo Newe wa hele newe o gila giangwe onge dengia hinya waku dinge tida dinge hota ogo shokelia wega waku mwadani noni ndako Oyo tomage wede mo kuigua huo ni mwimbaji aliyeimba akatambua ya kwamba zile chakula anakula mavazi yanayovaa ni Mungu anayempatia wakati mwingine tunaona mambo ya kawaida tunayazoea oh my god tumejipufundisha wakati wa covid ya kwamba hata kupumua tunahitaji huruma za Mungu tusichukue wapendwa mambo ni kawaida wapendwa unahitaji huruma za Mungu unahitaji Mungu akuhurumie ni Mungu anayeweza tu kukuhifadhi na kukulinda na mabaya yote lakini nahitaji kunyenyekea watu wengi wamejawa na kiburi watu wengi mioyo yao ni migumu hata wakati wanapita katika shida hawawezi kumgeukia Mungu Bona Ahab alikuwa mfalme na alikubali kunyenyekea. Bona mfalme wa Ninawi alikubali kunyenyekea na akapata huruma. Hakuna mtu hawezi kuhurumiwa na Mungu, lakini wanadamu mioyo yao ni migumu. Wanadamu ni wenye kiburi na wanakataa kunyenyekea mbele zake Mungu. Na Mungu anasema dhabihu ambayo sitaidharau, dhabihu ambayo sitaikataa mtu atakaye kuja mbele zangu akiwa na moyo uliobodeka na roho yenye kutubu mtu kama huyo hiyo dhabihu sitaikataa nikipata mmoja ambaye anayetambua udhaifu wake anatambua ya kwamba ye ni mnyonge anatambua ya kwamba ye hawezi hawezi bila nguvu zangu hawezi bila mkono wangu oh my god nebukadineza akanyenyekeshwa akaambiwa utakula nyasi miaka saba utamwagikiwa na umande paka utambue aliye juu ndiye anayeinua na kushusha watu wengine hata katika uchaguzi unaokuja hitabidi Mungu awanyenyekeshe kwa sababu amejawa na kiburi Hitabidi Mungu awanyenyekeshe kwa sababu bado hawajatambua hali ya juu yanainua hey shaka baganda babozeria meka hata baganda baboshi reka baganda bashanda kwa sababu wamekataa kunyenyekea hitabidi Mungu awanyenyekeshe hitabidi Mungu awafundishe 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 ya kwamba yeye ndiye anayetawala katika falme za wanadamu yeye ni Mungu kazi yake anainua na anashusha kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu raba shatara baganda rika baganda bashanda kwa nini ukae mpaka ukutane na ghadhabu ya Mungu kwa nini ukatae kunyenyekea until you meet with god rika baganda bashanda rika baganda to face judgment rika baganda the masses of god 
lead us to repentance. The masses of God, lead us to repentance. Rekabaganda bashanda. Rekabaganda bashanda ba. 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 Rekabaganda. May you access uh, the masses of God. Uh, may you become a recipient uh, of the masses of God. Uh, Rekabaganda. Jesus said, uh, I desire mercy and no sacrifice. Wacha kwenda na matendo yako. Oh, kwa sababu. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Isaia matendo yetu mazuri ni kama matambara yaliyoraruka matendo yetu mazuri our say of righteousness oh my god is like rags rekamaganda rekamaganda jesus said i desire mercy i desire mercy i desire mercy may you desire mercy rekamaganda bashanda rekamaganda Esha kabaganda mwere gai mawira makwa mode matigeni na we here rekabaganda through god's mercy he want to change you he want to transform you until you come to the full stature of our lord jesus christ oh my god this take humility it takes brokenness rekabaganda an acknowledgement of god Oh my God, many people don't acknowledge God. They see it's my own effort. I am smarter. I am better. I work hard. But I am here to tell you there are people who are smarter. They work hard. They have labored. They have toiled. And they cannot make ends meet in their life. They cannot be able to put bread on the table. It's by the masses of God the food you eat, the clothes that you wear, the air that you breathe, for you to be alive, to be strong and healthy. This is the masses of God. Can you celebrate the masses of God and tell God, thank you for your mercy upon my health, upon the work of my hands in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving me a sound mind that I can be able to make the right decisions. In the mighty name of Jesus, I can be able to think well. Thank you for your masses that I have not given over. I have not given myself over to the thing that would have destroyed me. I am not in bondage. It is you who have delivered me. In the name of Jesus, it is your mercy. Some of us who could have been in bondage, tungekuwa HIV, tungekuwa walevi, makahaba, madawa ya kulevia, tungekuwa tumezama katika vifungo, lakini kwa huruma zake mungu. Na hata wewe ulie fungwa siku ya leo, hata wewe ulie mgonjwa, unaweza kunyenyekea, yule alie fungua batimayo macho, alipolidia huruma za mungu, siku ya leo, hanaweza kukuhurumia, haka ondoa mateso, haka ondoa magonjwa, yee badu ni mungu, badu wanahurumia watu, wanaoenda bere zake, wakitafuta huruma za mungu. May you access the masses of God. May you access Rika Maganda Bashanda. Our God is rich in mercy. Rika Maganda. It's because of His great mercy that we are not consumed. Rika Maganda. May you rise. May you become a recipient. Rika Maganda. Rika Maganda. May the masses of God break every protocol sir. in the name of Jesus watu waulize huyu alitokea wapi kwani imekuwa namna gani kumbe umehurumiwa na baada ya kuhurumiwa kuna kuwa na matokeo baada ya kuhurumiwa shakaba ganda babozi may the masses of God sponsor your destiny sponsor your career sponsor your ministry sponsor your gift in the name of Jesus 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 in the name of Jesus, uh, receive the sponsorship uh, that comes uh, from the masses of God. Uh, may the masses of God uh, speak uh, on your behalf. Uh, speak on your behalf. Uh, may God invest uh, his masses uh, upon your life. Uh, receive an investment, uh, an investment uh, of the masses of God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Shaka baganda bashanda. Rika baganda bashanda. Rika baganda bashanda. 
wengi hatuna uwezo wa kujipiga kifua nitajipiga kifua nikiwa na nini na ninajua mimi ni wakuhurumiwa nimehurumiwa na Mungu and i desire more of his masses in my life without him i am nothing oh my god thank you for your masses thank you for showing me mercy thank you for showing me mercy and appointing me lord to serve you to serve your purposes in my generation thank you for your masses oh god in the mighty name of jesus rekabaganda bashanda i don't qualify i don't deserve Rekamaganda is just by your masses uh, that I am what I am uh, and through your grace uh, le maganda bashanda I thank you for all that you have done uh, in my life uh, through my life uh, I am here Lord to say not unto me uh, but unto you oh God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, rekamaganda I am a product uh, of your mercy rekabaganda bashanda May you raise other people rekamaganda who will acknowledge your mercy in their business in their career in their ministry may you raise them up that they may acknowledge rekamaganda shaka maganda when they come before you they will not pray about themselves like the pharisee they will not pray about who they are reka maganda wanapokuja mbele zako hawatasema jamii nimetoka masomo nilio nayo pesa niko nazo lakini bwana watatambua mkono wako watatambua huruma zako reka maganda bashanda reka baganda bashanda watakupatia utukufu reka baganda bashanda because god you cannot share your glory with any man in the name of jesus reka baganda bashanda Reka baganda bashanda reka maganda si Mungu hurumie watu utakao watumia kwa njia ya ajabu baada ya wiki hii sikuwe na kuinuliwa reka maganda kwa sababu ya huruma zako reka maganda bashanda sikuwe na watu bwana watakapokea huruma zako sikuwe na uponyaji wa magonjwa sugu batimaya aliona kwa sababu ya huruma zako sivisiwi wakasikiwe oh my god walio waremavu wakatembee walioambiwa na daktari ya kwamba wataishi kwa madawa wanaotembea na wheelchair bwana kwa sababu ya huruma zako siwapokee uhai wa mifupa na nyama wakatembee tena because of your mercy hesha kabaganda reka baganda bashanda reka baganda mashanda reka baganda mashanda reka baganda mashanda let there be healing let there be deliverance let there be divine visitation reka baganda mashanda because of your great mercy hey shaka maganda show you a compassion reka maganda to them that are sick to them that are suffering to them that are oppressed in the mighty name of jesus show them your compassion reka maganda which is a fruit of your mercy reka baganda bashanda reka baganda reka maganda ulipoangalia makundi ya watu oh my god you looked upon them with compassion wewe ni mungu mwenye huruma bwana tuangalie na macho ya huruma tuangalie na macho ya huruma na utuokoe na mabaya tuokoe na mabaya katika taifa tuokoe na mitego ya shetani katika maisha yetu mambo yote mabaya walioandikiwa kufa wasife walioandikiwa magonjwa isiwapate oh wewe uliyegeuza raana za baramu ukazifanya baraka bwana huruma zako in the name of jesus ziondolee wengi hukumu hata wale waliohukumiwa kufa na adui yako na kesi juu yao kwa sababu ya huruma zako because you are the king and you can exercise the power of mercy bwana waachilie wacha waishi tena kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mkuu reka baganda bashanda let's continue to pray for the masses of god upon our lives mi naona kuna watu watainuka kwa kupokea huruma za Mungu maisha yao yatabadilika their lives is going to take a new trajectory because of the masses of god 
because of the masses of God. Shilabaganda, Rekabaganda, sicknesses, chronic diseases, curses, stubborn limitations. They will be broken. They will be broken. Yes, Sakata Baganda, Reka Baganda. Somebody is accessing the masses of God. Kuna watu anapokea huruma za Mungu. Sijui mahali ulipo, lakini you can sense the power of God upon you. Receive a portion. Yes. Yes, Saka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Umetambua ni Mungu mwenye huruma. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda. May God cause your life to rise by his mercies. May God alleviate you from your suffering in the mighty name of Jesus. By his mercies. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God remember Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even in the coming election. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God humble the proud, the arrogant. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda and show mercy to them that are humble. Mercy Lord. 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 Yes Lord. We cry for mercy. We cry for mercy. Show us mercy, mercy. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Show us mercy. You are a merciful God. You are a merciful God. You are a merciful God.
Call on to 